Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is just about the quarter hour, maybe a little bit more than that at this point in time, but things are very much on the quiet side for the time being. We're not seeing anything in the way of major problems out across the Mid-South where it comes to anything involving rain, thunderstorms, or snow, all of which can be seen at this time of the year very much on the easy side, no question about that. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll have more details on the rest of your forecast into the rest of the weekend, so stay tuned for more. If you got questions, drop them into the comments section. If you've never tuned in here before, we try to answer as many questions as we can about information about what's going on in east to areas of Arkansas, West Tennessee, and northern Mississippi with Memphis right there in the middle. And again, if you have any questions, you can go to our website, WREG.com. If you've never seen anything on here before, again, with the information that we provide, blue bar right there. That's again the information about the forecast streaming on by. And again, you get more on our website information right here at WRIG.com slash weather. Right there is our seven day forecast also available at WRIG.com slash weather. Information on social media here and of course on all these websites as well. Trying to get on as many as possible out there. But again, if there's more of them out there, still trying to figure out Snapchat one of these days. I'm sure I'll get that figured out but haven't quite gotten there just yet. Questions? Again, comments? Let's see what's going on in your neck of the woods and see what's happening out there. Darren Chrisley, good morning to the, and welcome to the show. Karen True, thanks for joining us as well. Rest of the day looks pretty quiet. Let's go ahead and get into it and show you what we've got going on. From the nation's capital, a little hazy back toward the Smithsonian, the Washington Monument, the Capitol Building, and the Potomac River looking back inside the Beltway from the National Mall Cam. Views available from the National Park System. If you'd like to find out more, go to nps.gov or follow the hashtag FindYourPark on Twitter. A great opportunity to learn more about the great photography out there, what people have discovered of hints, tips, and tricks from the National Park System out there, and a great opportunity to see more cameras like this, dozens of them available, and we try to feature them as many as possible during the week. Heidelberg Elementary, one of our weather bug cameras. Again, school out for Saturday morning, and the leaves off the trees pretty much down into around the area of Clarksdale for this morning, so we're not seeing too much of a problem there. Very quiet campus, lots of parking available. If you're down around Old Miss for this morning, out for a stroll or a jog, the Student Union still under construction, Vaught-Hemingway Stadium off in the distance, and a few clouds being seen on the Crosby Hall construction cam from Old Miss early this morning. View from I-40 and Witten Road on our transmitter tower camera, some of the guide wires there, and showing again traffic on the heavy side for Saturday morning, starting to pick up in intensity as we go throughout the rest of the morning. So again, decently quiet as we head throughout the rest of the day. Good news for travelers more chances of rain as we go into tonight. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little while. Downtown Memphis, again, those clouds that you see out there, great for a stroll or a jog as long as you're bundled up as we go into the rest of the day on the riverbank down around Riverside Drive and across Big River Crossing so far this morning but otherwise some very nice views of downtown Memphis out there. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, again, remember seeing the blue bar down here at the bottom portion of your screen. Uh, Carl Welch, good morning and welcome to the show. Pardon my bifocals and leaning in there, but uh, not aging gracefully where it comes to stuff like this. Again, decently cool for this morning. We don't have a lot of very bone-chilling cold weather out there. We do have, again, some chilly weather for today, some milder conditions to the course of the next couple of days. We'll have more details on that, but for today. Again, lower 50s around lunchtime and back in the upper 40s with more clouds heading our direction as we go into around evening time for later on tonight. Rest of the forecast again looks pretty good from the Hilton East Memphis camera. Again, dry conditions over toward Perkins and 240 and all the way back over toward around the Memphis airport area. So far, so good on travel and no slowdowns being shown here, so good news on that. Live real-time on your side weather showing up as mid to upper 30s around much of the area. 38 degrees at Heidelberg Elementary where we just showed you the camera a few minutes ago, and back in the lower to mid 30s, not doing too bad on the winds, but with temperatures like this out here, Again, we could see the possibility of some decent wind chills into the rest of this morning, so that is going to be your main concern as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day. Let's run the numbers and show you what we've got going on again into the rest of the afternoon. Temperature is not bad. Lower 50s by about lunchtime today and getting into this afternoon. Notice again a little bit of cloud cover starting to show up on the monitors here and there across the Mid-South. So sunshine early mixed with more clouds as we go into this afternoon. High temperatures back in the lower to mid 50s. 
50s getting into later on this evening. Again, past about sunset, temperatures start to knock off into the mid to upper 40s to lower 50s. More clouds start to make their way into the area past about sunset and dinner time tonight. News Channel 3 at 10 and afterwards into midnight. That's where we also see, again, the potential of some very light showers taking place into parts of the Mid-South. But most of that is going to be waiting until overnight as it passes over the Mississippi River and into and around the rest of the Mid-South area. Now, the good news at this time is that, as you can see, with these temperatures down toward the surface, way too warm for anything but rainfall. A lot of this could be snow several thousand feet up, but as it drops on down toward the surface, the air warms up, and all we wind up with is droplets of rainfall. It looks pretty stable. So we don't see anything out there in the way of thunderstorms taking place, and we don't see anything in the way of severe weather either. So good news on that for the rest of the day today. If you have any plans for outdoors today, you can leave the umbrella at home. Heading out the door for later on tonight, I would take the umbrella with you just in case. And for early tomorrow morning, if you're heading out for early church, Sunday school, or wherever you may be going, something to think about there just to be on the safe side. But mainly just rainfall out there. If we get a rumble of thunder, I wouldn't be surprised, but that's going to be rare if it happens, so not that much to expect on that. Rest of the forecast, again, into the mid-50s as we head into the rest of the day today. Again, that's just below normal for this time of the year. More clouds into this afternoon and this evening. Heading into later on tomorrow, temperatures again a bit cooler thanks to that evaporational cooling, the rain and the clouds helping to keep the temperatures down by just a little bit into tomorrow. Heading into Monday, back in the lower 60s, mostly cloudy. Cloudy skies, another chance of rain on Tuesday late into around early on Wednesday, and then we clear out a bit on Thursday and warm back up again. Heading toward the big travel crunch as we get closer to the holiday coming up next Monday, we see temperatures back in the lower 50s for Friday, and chances of rain start to begin now into around Saturday and Sunday. Pretty stable, cloudy, chances of rain, minimal but possible out there. And that's going to be about the main thing that we see out there. But the main also thing we're watching is going to be too warm for anything but rainfall and still not seeing any thunderstorms out there as we get into around Sunday evening, Christmas Eve, could be some scattered showers out there, and by the time the kids wake up early Christmas morning, mid to upper 30s with clouds and some rain chances scattered around. Now, the storm system that is going to be causing all of this is going to be, again, the possibility of some other winter weather heading our way into areas north and east of us. 36 in cold water, Mike Lonius. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you very much. Uh, Sissy Samuels, no, no white Christmas at this point in time, so doesn't really look like it. Now, again, and the storm system that's causing this right here, as it gets closer to us, this is again several days out, so a lot of this could change. Not seeing a great deal of temperature changes for us here in the Mid-South, but as the storm system kind of coalesces and evolves by just a little bit, these numbers by the end of the week could change a lot, either up or down, getting a lot of warm air in here, showers, maybe thunderstorms, Colder air in here, depending on how it goes. The model's not exactly lined up in agreement for everything that goes on. So we could see maybe the possibility, if it gets cold enough, by the time we hit Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, of maybe some rain mixed with some snow showers if the temperatures drop far enough. But right now, confidence is not high at this point to show anything about that actually going on. So doubtful we're going to be winding up with anything like that just yet. But once again, uh, things could definitely change. So keep it tuned for more information on that. Diane Wingo wanted to you to say snow. Well, there you go. You just got your wish. There you go. So glad to help out with what I can. Uh, chances of snow, again, this time of the year were not really all that good. If you'd like more information about what it is when it comes to snow chances around here, when and how much of a chance we have a white Christmas, go to this website address, wreg.com slash weather. And Tim, Jim, and Todd have included this nice little link on there that shows the statistical chance of getting a white Christmas. Hint, it's not great. It's only about 3% for us down in this area of the country. But if you'd like to see more about what our statistical odds of getting a white Christmas are, wreg.com slash weather uh, for more on that. Sissy Samuels, no baby goats either. Yeah, I was wondering about if we've gone from a goat watch to a goat warning at some point in time. Glad to hear about that. Uh, hopefully, again, in the, hopefully the pet rock garden you suggested is going to work out well at some time in the near future. Uh, if you get that done, let me know. Rest of the day today, we'll keep an eye on the weather. Great pictures over the last few days from Memphis underscore Tom. View of High Cotton Beer Tap Room. A nice little view of sunset from earlier this week. Sunrise, the moment of from Louis Haskett. 
around northeast Arkansas from earlier this week, and another one from Memphis underscore Tom from this morning, chilly in and around Hernando, Mississippi. And thank you guys very much for sending those along. If you have weather pictures, we want to see them, and we want to show them to everybody. And I don't care where you are. If you're in the Mid-South, if you're not in the Mid-South, let us know, and we'd be glad to, listen, to get a little bit more information about what you're seeing out there and to get your photography in front of everybody else. Uh, if you've got any goats like Sissy Samuels does, we'd love to be able to have those out that direction. Uh, if you have anything like sunset, sunrise pictures, tweet them to me at aonic underscore WREG3. Instagram, aonic, no underscore necessary, WREG3. And here on my Facebook page at Austin Onic WREG. We'd love to see them out there and love to get them on our social media pages, but we can't show them if you don't send them. So if you'd please send them along, we'd love to have more about that coming up a little bit later on today. And hopefully we'll get some more for later on tonight. And if we do, we'll show them right here on our next weather overtime coming up tonight at about 8 o'clock. Well, don't forget to catch my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. If you're out and about, can't watch on TV, can't get it on the computer, listen on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 from the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. And of course, I'll be on live again with Bob and Josh talk back live early Monday morning starting at 8 a.m. on a.m. 730 mainly sports chat but a lot of great guests on here news current events sports weather all kinds of stuff mixed in together so join Bob and Josh on a.m. 730 or go to talkbacklivenetwork.org and listen online and you get more details on what's going on with the forecast there that'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog weather overtime for early Saturday morning again more information at WREG.com slash weather. And stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend. Uh, new information regarding uh, Lorenzen's Wright murder is coming in. You can watch that at WREG.com right now if you care to check out more information about that. Plenty of sports, plenty of news to talk about later tonight. We'll be back on News Channel 3 at 6. And we'll also have more details again on our next weather overtime that will be coming up tonight about 8 o'clock or so. So join us again for more information there. Live and direct from downtown, I'm meteorologist Austin. Stay tuned for much more coming up throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online.